Test them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, blah, blah, blah. Unit one, two, and three are still melted down and melting into the ocean. Test. Check. Blah. Hi, everybody. Hang on. We get this rocking and rolling. Hi, Kate. Yeah, I'm over to the Fukushima Hound. I reserved my name so no troll steals it. <laughs> It's going to take a while to figure that one out. It's, and it's a little tricky for me, you know, because uh, I don't think the forms are supposed to be for me. I think they're supposed to be for everybody else. But I also think it's important that I get my name there so nobody else tricks you folks, right? So I only got one account. It's Beautiful Girl by Dana on that. It's Beautiful Girl by Dana here. I'm not anywhere else. I'm not up on Twitter. I'm not up on Facebook. It's impossible for me just to do what I'm doing here. I can't possibly do another Facebook or Twitter or anything. I just really truly can't. That's something I gotta do in, in the future. Just to make sure we get that all going. I will Dave. Like Dave says ignore the trolls. That's okay, I gotta beat on him once in a while. Hang on. That's me, yeah. I'm not so big tonight, eh? My fingers don't look so pudgy. <laughs> I think uh, I can still get the big screen, but get me in there when I get up into the studio. There we get a scooter. Uh, I don't even want to go down that road. It's just too heartbreaking. Hi, Ames. There's Lori. Let me say hi to everybody. Anybody don't know what I'm doing at the beginning of the shows. Just to get into the mode. I say hi to everybody and I... Dry, dry, drives me into that uh, Stetson, Toxic, Troy, Candace, John Townsend, Kate, Aqua, Patrick, Adam, Cindy, Caprad, Reram, Missing, Sky, Hate, Mom and Ox. Woo! I know, honey. Look, you don't have to worry about catching live streams, okay? How many have you caught? How many have I done? <laughs> Annabeth caught most of them. Um, let me see, I, I, I think it's around 110, uh, full streams, and it, it's over 150 videos posted since I started that, and I've been at it, missed a couple of days. My arm is definitely a lot better, but I still not, I still can't play guitar with it. Well, that's what I'm doing for therapy is playing the guitar, but it's just I got no uh, I can't Can't hold in on the strings very tight and it's an electric guitar So it's pretty friggin bad when you can't hold the strings in an electric guitar. Trust me It's okay, Zoom. Whoa, dude <laughs> What's up, honey? What's wrong? You're just being silly And somebody shooting off firecrackers? Is that what that was? I didn't hear nothing. I'm sorry. That's firecrackers. That's firecrackers. It's okay. Hey, hey, hey. Hang on, folks. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, Dana, it's okay. Okay, come over and see Dana. Come on. Come over and see Dana. Hurry up. No, no barking. It's okay. Yeah, I know. It's... No, no. Come to right here. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, settle down. Sorry, folks. Blah, 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 blah. Piano. We got masterialization. Jib. I lost track, obviously. Diver dude. And I'm off track altogether now. Okay. Uh, the land of the homeless, heralds, and the nuclear zeros. Jill, Irinarel, Tree, Radioactive Banana, Ken, Woo, Brian, James, Kathy, Sergeant, there you go, I'll get a few there now, Craig, you got Jester, Hundra Tooney, yeah, Mama Knox is really busy, folks, and it's okay, you know, that's what I was talking about, right, uh, illusion is over, you know, that's the whole idea for me to do the live stream is, is just simple for me, right?
to make a two minute video could take me 10 hours to do the live stream takes three hours probably well the after another half an hour so three and a half hours it takes me two hours to get ready so that's a lot quicker right than spending the entire day hunting down the materials and pictures and trying not to drool into the microphone when you're doing the audio uh, there's a good trick for everybody if you're trying to record audio or you're in front of a camera you notice something about me the arms are always going the hands are going well um, um, let me put it this way uh, I'm not going to do no body movements, I'm going to say say the title of the video, and then I'm going to use body movements and say the title of the video. So when you're recording, this is what I'm trying to suggest to you anyway is, think about this one, I'm not going to move any of my body, I'm just going to read the title. Fukushima, the land of the homeless heralds and nuclear zeros. Fukushima, the land of the homeless heralds and nuclear zeros. You can see the minute your arms come into it. You open up your airways, you open up your lungs, you open up your vocal cords, you get some posture. Posture is really big. There you go. You feeling better, sweetie? Yeah. Think a little dog. You're some good dog, you are. Uh, but, but, but. Uh, okay, let me get back on that for one second. We're up to five minutes and 54 seconds, then I'm going to jump into it. But that's important that if you practice that, right, if you like, you feel nervous, talking to the microphone or talking to your camera just put action into it right and try it and you'll see what I mean like type out a paragraph and try to read it you know record it and then record the paragraph by using your body language a lot and what you'll find is it went really smooth when you done that and it was really awkward when you were just trying to be you know, you got your paragraph and you're trying to read through it, but you, like your lungs, your body don't regulate properly. It's in martial arts, you don't stop moving, right? There's always that constant moving. Your body's, your body's constantly, and you're waiting for the guy to stop so you can get a shot at him in the tournaments and stuff like that. And the guy who's never stops moving, his breathing will outlast anybody out there because he has to regulate it all the time subconsciously. I try... Try's quite the musician, folks. If you don't know Try, Try Milik. He's got skill coming out of his eardrums. Okay, there you go, folks. Everything's good. I kind of beat the bush now for six minutes. Is there anybody else? Service, uh, David. Uh, yeah, I, I missed all that. Okay. Okay. Now, what was it I wanted to talk about tonight? I'm way off track because of the barking. That'll, just give me a second, I'll get on it. Oh yeah, documentary. I'll start off when I'm doing a documentary. Everybody's heard that over and over. Um, let me get rid of this page. Get rid of that page. Uh, I'm way off track. Holy cow. All right, here we go. So, I got to do all the audio over again in my Fukushima documentary and right now the numbers are a little under 700 headlines or I'm sorry 700 parts and there's a lot of uh, short videos in that a lot of the studies a lot of the models from different countries of the ocean and the jet stream and so we got Japan covered from one end to the other end the ocean the jet stream we got North America hang on I said dope. So we got reactors one to four, reactors five and six, extensive coverage for those, unimaginable coverage. The cores, yeah, the fuel ejected from the cores all over. I got all that covered. Heart attacks and deaths around Fukushima. Japan itself from one end to the other end, north, east, south, and west. The entire country is radioactive till the end of time. That entire country. Everybody there will be sterilized in a couple of years. The entire country. It's unbelievable, folks. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six parts 
Just on Japan, that covers everything, including the tsunami and other stuff. We got USA. We got Canada. Big shots over in Canada in the documentary coming up here before uh, March 11th. <laughs> I'm setting a hard timetable. But not really, because this will be my third time doing the documentary here. I don't know, you know you know how much trouble I has with that audio? You folks know. It's heartbreaking, because I've done everything. That's okay, you get better each time you do it. You should never just do a documentary and shove it out there anyway. You should always be forced to do it two or three times. It'll still be shitty, because it takes years to do a good one. But this is more about putting, connecting all the dots, everything. The radiation and illnesses, right? What that means in relationship to everything, that's a huge one. Uh, the ocean, that's huge. A whack of shit on that, man. You won't believe the stuff, folks. But it's definitive what I got anyway. I got the best, the creams of the crops, right? Uh, the jet streams, heartbreaking. The fire releases, heartbreaking. I got a legal limit for radiation exposure, just the extra stuff. Um, so yeah, I got all of that. And while we're on that, and the subject we got tonight is what I was talking about, was we got the heralds of Fukushima, the homeless. It's not just the homeless going into the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear military industrial complex's power plant, where they only make, they're making isotopes for the directed energy weapons, if anybody's not familiar with what nuclear power plants are actually all about. They're about making directed energy isotopes, weapons, um, and a directed energy weapon, the lasers, all run on exotic isotopes. Miserable fucking bastards. Miserable bags of shit. That's what the nuclear industry is. It's just a fucking nightmare. Cowards, and traitors, monsters among us, literally. The Ken Buesler's, the Jay Collins, they're friggin' monsters because they're educated, right? Uh, but what's going on in Japan is just over the top. I mean, if you're going to do stuff like that to your own country and try to pretend that everything is going to be fucking okay, excuse the language, going to pretend that everything is okay, you're insane. Like, you're so far, you're so friggin' lost. Let me run through about 25 fast headlines for everybody. So they can really wrap their mind around what I'm trying to say here. That is not familiar with it. And the dates don't matter, but I probably will read them. November 22nd, 2011. 60 kilometers from the meltdown in, in Japan. 175 billion becquels. Uh, disintegrations, decays per second. Every second, non-stop. 1,440 minutes in a day. 60 seconds in a day, 60 times 175 billion a minute for 1,440 minutes a day, every fucking day. Flow per day in just one river, just one single river, just one river. So that goes into all the estuaries, that goes everywhere else, that gets into everything. Uh, 60 kilometers from the meltdown, November 22nd, 27, uh, 2011. 6.5, uh, 1.5 million becquels per square meter, 60 kilometers from the meltdown. October 21st, 2011. Like uh, 50 becquels will give you permanent lesions on your organs. What's 6.5 million becquels? And uh, what was it anyway? Blah, blah. Who knows? Cesium, iodine, strontium, plutonium, uranium. Take your fucking pick. It's probably one of them. It's probably all of them, obviously. They don't travel by themselves. Every organism in the Fukushima prefecture is contaminated with radiation. 1.4 million becquels a kilogram, 60 kilometers from the meltdown. 75 miles from Fukushima, half a million becquels a kilogram. So if you've got a quarter, if you've got a, a meter, a square meter of uh, ground, Right? And you pull out a kilogram. We're not talking about the whole meter, see? 
Yeah, and this one here, right? So you got to divide that out. I can't remember what what the numbers is. Thirty times or something. So it's thirty times half a million, if you wanted to go per square meter. So when you get when you hear me say becquels a kilogram, and stuff like half a million becquels, a cesium, there's there's thirty times more strontium, in the same spot. And so today I got everything. I had to create all new folders. It was hell. I had to create all new folders and put all these things to do it all again separately because I didn't like the last couple of ways I'd done it. But I, I'm going to put it out this time anyway. And it's probably going to be really awful. But all the information will be there, so that's okay. But I will be doing a better one down the road. But for the third anniversary, the truth needs to be out there. For the third anniversary, that's a little bit better. You can put up with shitty pictures and everything else. Ketchup stains all over my shirt. But the audio is so friggin' important. It's so hard for some reason for me to get. I better run over to the page. So, okay, let me keep going for a second. 100 kilometers from Fukushima meltdown. Thorium detected. The daughter products of uranium. Ooh, let me get a date on that. October 26, 2011. Japan says the ear, 150 kilometers from Fukushima, plant is radioactive as the area is close to the meltdown. 150 kilometers away, July the 20th, 2011. And I just wanted to run through the headlines, not everything else. Okay, fallout from Fukushima causing problems 180 kilometers away, February the 16th, 2013. Mysterious radius, radioactive substances detected 180 kilometers away. From Fukushima, military industrial complexes, nuclear, directed energy weapon, disguised as a power plant complex, alpha particles at 200 counts a minute. What was the date on that? May the 4th, 2012. Diachi Elementary, 4 million becquels a square meter. Yay! The cesium in the soil. Samples from the school in Chiba, 20 kilometers from Tokyo. Boo. So, what kind of monster, what kind of mayor, what kind of community would let their children play in that? Would force their children to play to that? Would hold hostages there and make them play in that? That's what they're doing to these people. you got to realize, Japan made the government, the cowards, the traitors, the zeros, the nuclear zeros, they made over 5,000 models of the radioactive fallout in Japan in the first two months. Never friggin' told anybody. And then they have all these numbers of playgrounds. And, uh, you know, fuck it. Still gonna get me pension, right? I'm smoking cigarettes, sue me. They got no chemicals. I don't have 4,000 chemicals. Don't give me a hard time. <laughs> I don't got 4,000 chemicals in my cigarettes. What the hell come up with that idea to put 4,000 chemicals in a cigarette? It's legal because the EPA grandfathered in 65,000 chemicals when they were created in 1981. Right? So you can legally go out, have a product, put 4,000 chemicals in it, probably get away with a tow. In fact, they'll sell your shit for you like you won't believe. But four million Beckwells. So, I mean, that's the zeros. That's the friggin' zeros of society that would allow children to be in that environment. That would allow anybody to be in that environment. That created that environment. That are hiding that environment. That are making money, you know, off the nuclear industry. That are out there apologizing. They're the zeros. Ken Busler, zero. That's the friggin' zero. And that's why, you know, the like BBC don't even fact check on purpose. They're the zeros. Yahoo, don't fact check it, put it out there, put him up there. That's a zero. Okay, that's the, the lowest common denominator imaginable for scumbags, for useless maggots. They're not even maggots. Maggots actually perform something. These fuckers don't perform anything. They're 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 the death. Their death itself. 
They make a living off uh, keeping people stupid by lying to people. It's unimaginable. That they're, they're up on National Geographic site. Go and look up Ken Buesler or National Geographic. Talking about potatoes, talking about bananas, or talking about potassium-40 in the nuclear equation. It's a fucking zero. That's the lowest form of life, the dummies of monsters that you can imagine. That was probably his mother was there last night. After she does Ken's laundry, she comes over here and harasses us. Four million, four million beckles a square meter. I guarantee if I was a daddy down there, somebody would be getting a shot in the fucking head. They'd be needing their pension or the health care part of it. 27,000 beckles of cesium in a kindergarten near the west coast of Japan, 200 kilometers from the meltdown. Radioactive sludge in the kindergarten in Tokamachi City, Niigata. Well, that's 205 kilometers west of Fukushima Military Industrial Complex's directed energy weapon production plant. 300,000 beckles a square meter of radioactive iodine deposited in areas near Tokyo for the end of March. Brrr. Only includes iodine 131. What would you say now if someone, a whole bunch of people in your city, Took their Geiger counters and found 300,000 fucking beckles of anything out there. And by the way, like you said, you can't take a Geiger counter and find four, uh, 7,000 beckles of potassium-40 in the drinking water. Because it's insignificant. You have to take a cubic meter of, of drinking water. You have to fucking take all the potassium out of that. Evaporate and get the potassium out of it. Then you have to weigh it. And then you calculate per gram of potassium how many beckles. That would have gave off. That's how they do it. Stupid, see? So why, why is Ken Buesler using that in the equation? Why is Jay Cullen, why is all the other creepy fuckers out there using that? I'm kicked off or what? What's going on here? It says over here, show me YouTube. Is, oh, I see what's going on. I I got kicked off. Let me keep going down that road. Everything looks good. 21. Uh, so before I waste too much time, I'm going to keep going here. 300,000 beckles a square meter iodine near Tokyo. Well, it's not just going to be the iodine 131 at that particular time. That has an 80 day life, right? You know, it's times 10. So 8 day life, half life turns into times 10. But it was iodine 132, 133. And there's probably 10 to 20 times as much iodine, 132 and 133 itself, 10 to 20 times as much of iodine of each of these. And then there would have been iodine uh, 129 with a 15 million year half-life. Then there would have been a CCM with 30 times more strontiums. There would have been cesium 134 and 137. There would have been the plutoniums and their daughters. The 238 to 39, 240s, 241s. There's a lot more than that, but that's the major ones. The ones they use for the puppies to kill all the puppies. Dr. Raymond Gilmetty. Big shots over at KRQE Channel 4, 13. Expert. He'll show you what plutonium will do to you. He killed thousands of puppies, beagle puppies. Sick, twisted, demented fucker. And he put them up on TV. Still didn't even look like he was human. I know how rare it is to smoke cigarettes for me anyway, but you don't smoke much when you're doing what I'm doing. I just, I find, the only time I really stop is when I'm sitting here in front of the camera. It's shocking how hard, how much energy I put into everything I do. It's unbelievable. And I like it. I got no issues with it. I'm much happier doing what I'm doing. It's trying to source it all out. And that's why that documentary, documentary of this stuff here that I'm reading now is so important to me. Because then everybody has a real picture, right? Everybody's on the same page as me all of a sudden. That'll be cool. <laughs> because that's what I need, right? I need you to be smarter than I am. I need you to be more articulate than I am. And you are. And you will be. And you can be. And if you chose to be, 
you're a game changer. Don't underestimate what one person can do, okay? Don't underestimate what you can do, ever. No matter what anybody tells you in your personal life, or your friends, or your families, you don't have to lash out at them. You just have to be, you know, do your job, do what you need to do to become that. And you'll find out that if anybody's capable of it, if they put the energy into it. I'm a little different, because I flipped over from war, uranium-238, to the Fukushima, and I haven't been at it very long. But I already had quite the repertoire of uranium over the last eight years. You have no idea. And, you know, once the enormity of what I saw when I went down the road uh, 154 videos ago struck me, I realized that the best thing I could do was sort it out because I was having panic attacks about this. And there's only knowledge that will set you free from all of that, right? The knowledge will set you free. That's why that documentary is coming, because that will set you free. That will give you the entire picture. Right? That makes you assertive. And then it makes all the lies so clear and makes them makes it easier for you to, to understand the lies and digest the lies and know how to come out and smack it around. Government simulation shows radioactive plume of Krypton. 85 over Tokyo, March 15. Over Tokyo, March the 15. Reactor number three with MOX exploded. MOX is two million times worse than any other reactor on the planet. Number three. You should see the stuff I got on number three. Whoa, wait till you get a load of it. Yeah, the Fukushima winds, they sent the vapors to Tokyo, but they went across the Pacific. They went around the Pacific. They went right through Canada and North America, plumes and plumes and plumes. I'll cover all that in the documentary. I got all the models. Because it's not like it had just a little release and everything went back to sleep, okay? Nothing stopped. People in Tokyo, the black substance is here, local official. See, he's a hero. It's on the roof, on the asphalt, on the cement. It's everywhere on all surfaces. June of 24, 2012. That's Minnesota. Um... Government simulation shows radioactive plume of Krypton. I just read that one to you. That was, by the way, that was that the Krypton went over them. They reported on June the fifth, two thousand eleven. June the fourth, two thousand eleven. Two hundred and thirty kilometers from Fukushima. Remember, we're moving away from Fukushima plant west. It seems to be everywhere. Radioactive black substances. My goodness, I got some stuff on that. Millions of becquels. Millions. Unimaginable contamination. Uh, this is something really odd, okay? Whatever this is. This is not Chernobyl stuff. Uh, government sessions reveals 400,000 times normal radiation. Well, Kim Buesler will tell you normal radiation is 7,000 to 90,000 becquels. Dirty fuckers. Xenon 133 levels in Chiba. You know, in the Chiba, like uh, 180 kilometers. I probably got that one. In. I'll fix that. That's in the wrong spot. I still haven't got all these sorted. 240 kilometers from the meltdown. Uh, technetium 99 was detected outside of Fukushima plant. It was the first time it was detected over 240 kilometers away from the meltdown. There was three other radio. Uh, isotopes found there. Strontium-90 found 245 kilometers from the meltdown, Yokohama City, 150 times background. April, August, or October 9, 2011. I was going for the, the but my arm freaks up on me. 250 kilometers from the meltdown, 2,400 becquels of radioactive, a kilogram radioactive cesium in the soil samples, September 24, west of Tokyo, right? 30,000 Beckwalls, a square meter in Nagagno, 250 kilometers from the meltdown, cesium. Absorbed radiation doses, iodine-132, 10 times higher than iodine-131 in northern Japan after Fukushima meltdown. So that iodine-131 you heard about, that rained out right from one end of America to the other, one end of Canada to the other, right, that had the 132, that's what I'm telling you all the time. 
The 132 would have had a 10 day, 10 times the two day half life. The 133 was almost a two day half life. So they would have been 20 days. It only takes about three to four days for it to make it over here. But at the same time, right, you could be ingesting 129, which got a 15 million year half life. Or you could be ingesting cesium, radioactive hot particles from the sulfur, from the urethal peroxide sulfur compound combination of spraying salt water and a lot of that salt water come from come from the reactors buildings the basements where it was like um, 40 million becquels a liter got sprayed in on the melted cores and what that does is that don't kill the isotope that don't kill the radioactive particles or the radioactive atoms right it created these buckyballs that ingested those atoms and turn them into a little nuclear engine, something we've never seen before. And why they might be on the micron sizes, <laughs> you know, they might be able to put 100,000 on the head of a needle, you only got to ingest one for your body to light up and attack it, for it to start growing a tumor. It won't stop producing radiation, so the body won't stop attacking it. It's always producing radiation, see? And uh, this stuff is nine times more effective at irradiating you, particularly your thyroid. But even if you did take iodine, does that fucking really matter? It matters to people who's getting thyroid surgery right now, for sure. But it's, you're still getting it in your body, right? You know what I'm saying? It sequesters in your body. If you don't go in, you, you do take the iodine, don't get in your thyroid. That's good. You're still going to get a tumor, though. And so you got to learn to eat healthy. This is the big thing we always got to try to remember to take away from these conversations is that natural food has got hundreds of thousands of times more energy than a plate of GMO food. GMO food got toxins in it. You got to eat 428 corn on the cob to get the same amount of nutrients as you would from an organic, single organic corn on the cob. So think of filling up the back seat of your car, right to the roof with corn on the cob, or at least up to the top of the seat with corn on the cob, 428 corn on the cob. And then the single corner cob on your front seat has more nutrition, more calcium, more potassium, more magnesium than all the corn on the cob on the, that fills up the entire two back seats put together. And it's ugly looking, it's hideous looking because it's natural corn on the cob. Rarely do you get a perfect corn on the cob. That's just mother nature. And we, we have adapted to having insects eating our crops over millenniums. That's why these crops are strong. And that's part of the sacrifice we make to mother nature for encroaching under, under space with our stuff. We help feed the habitat too, right? But by using GMO with no nutrients to talk about in it, just a tiny, tiny percentage insignificant because it never had nothing in it then they wouldn't be able to get legally call it what it is right so they got to leave a little tiny parts per million in there but I mean you know it's if you got to eat 428 corn on the cob to get the same amount of nutrients and, mi and minerals and micronutrients as you would from a single organic corn on the cob that don't have pesticides naturally built into it that is naturally, it's just full of energy, right? Your body can't fight cancer is what I'm saying to you if you don't have the energy. So turmeric has 600 peer review studies on it. I'll just stay on that for a second. Uh, all, you know, like all natural food. Anything that's made by GMO, anything that's looked perfect is probably GMO. Anything that looks like you should take a picture of it is probably GMO. And you should just do some research on the GMO foods that you like the GMO foods that you like, the, the foods that you like, and see what's going on there. I got a, a video way back on GMO. It's like two hours long. So if you type GMO in on my search, you'll um, get the long one for two hours. And there's close to 400 studies and headlines and uh, stories about GMO there. That'll educate you. Two hours, you can sit through it. Uh, you should be come away with a huge amount of knowledge if you're not quite familiar with it, or even if you are familiar with it. Because, I mean, like, that wasn't all the headlines I had. That was just what I put together to do a two-hour shut up. Here, look. Well, <laughs> you 
You can probably beat me up on one or two of these, but you can't beat me up on 400 of them. It's kind of like the, the documentary coming out. We'll have 700 headlines in it and videos and everything else. That's not counting pictures and everything else I'm going to put in there, just the headlines. So, because we, we got we got to be able to get the whole story out there. High radiation levels 270 kilometers from the meltdown. Over half of Japanese living in contaminated areas, including places 400 kilometers from Fukushima. It's actually 30,000 square kilometers of Fukushima as a wasteland, for sure. There should be a nuclear waste dump. They should remove every structure in 30,000 square kilometers and leave it where it's too. Because Fukushima has destroyed Japan. 300 times more radiation released into the atmosphere from burning debris and claimed by the government June the 13th, 2012. 300 times more re releases into the, like, we've seen numbers of, low numbers of 100,000 becquels, which are extraordinary numbers per kilogram of the ash from the incinerators, from the dumps. We're not even talking about all the sewage treatment facilities that are begging up to high cesium-137. They used to use all that stuff for fertilizer, right? They used to treat it and then use it for fertilizer. Now they're bagging it up and they're stretching for like a mile down the road from the sewage plants, these huge bags. They can't, but now they're probably going to start using it anyway. The whole fucking country is destroyed. They can't get, escape it. And, or they got to import everything. And so everything they export, you can't touch it. You really, truly can't touch anything coming out of Japan, period. There might be some stuff coming out of there, but it's not likely. <laughs> I don't know how. Iodine-131 levels rises 350 kilometers from Fukushima at sewage plant. I should have waited before I opened my mouth. Radionuclides starting to transform into other substances. Uh, so if the iodine-131, which is all he looked for, 350 kilometers from Fukushima, the Achi military industrial complex is directed energy weapons, the uh, military plant that's making isotopes for the directed energy weapons, 350 kilometers away. Just one of fucking, all, all the sewage plants are like it right around Japan, the entire freaking country. Fukushima with radioactivity over 40 billion becquels a kilogram. Why does that work out to a square meter, I wonder? Large black puddles of fallout alongside of the road might well be from inside the failed fuel rods. That's 400 kilometers away, 250 miles west. Yeah, it's, what's, what's, you know, what's 20 billion, 100 billion, 40 billion? Well, 50 becquels, not billion becquels, but 50 becquels will give you permanent lesions on your organs. This is very serious stuff to have happen to your body. Because your body has to go out and constantly attack that and fight with it. So you displace all the oxygen molecules in your blood with all these white blood cells. Right? They fight for the oxygen space in your... Hot particles, 400 kilometers from Fukushima, 40 billion becquels. Frig. Hot spots spreading. Government to check radiation, 460 kilometers from the meltdown. They'll find it. 600 kilometers from Fukushima, high levels of cesium detected in Osaka Bay. Uh, 10,000 becquels a kilogram in the soil of strontium, blah, blah, blah. Can't have strontium without cesium. Can't have any of them without uranium and uh, urethal, peroxide, sulfur, buckyballs. You'll find links below to the peer review studies about that stuff. And a whole lot of other stuff, and a lot of cool people. But every time we talk about these numbers, and we say iodine or cesium or americium, plutonium or whatever, all of them come together. None of them travel separate, right? But they only check for the iodine, or they only check for the strontium, or they only check for the cesium. Right? You get it? That's why I'm like I am, you know, because I get that each time because I read so much of it, read so much of it, and continue to read so much of it. 900 kilometers, map shows cesium-137 deposited all over 
west of uh, Hiroshima. Dum, da, dum. <laughs> Marching across the country. Professor now reveals a high level radioactive material detected 1,000 kilometers away from Fukushima last April. January 30th, 2012, Nagasaki City. Woo, Nagasaki City's part of the living in the nuclear wasteland. Go on your world tour and visit the most radioactive places on the planet. Don't forget to ever go up to Nagasaki City. They got some pretty good back walls up there. 10,000 back walls a square meter of radioactivity. Over 30,000 square kilometers in Japan exceeds the levels. 8% of the fucking nation. It's all the way, right? Like, it's every freaking piece of that country. The East is literally buried under radioactive fallout. Really bad, because the winds are coming from the West, but barely any winds. And this stuff gets liberated and dragged all over the country, burnt in incinerators and spread all over your communities. Absorbed radiation doses iodine 132 is 10 times higher than iodine 131. Agency is funding project to monitor online info about Fukushima crisis around the clock of monitoring of the blogs on no power Twitter accounts. August the 1st, 2011. They're making money. Uh, yeah. So turmeric uh, is a good one, right? Turmeric. It's got 700, well, we'll say 600, because there's another study out there of the 700 peer review studies about it. We'll say 600 academic studies produced about it because it's that fascinating. It's that, it's that cool, turmeric. Not the GMO turmeric. <laughs> That's coming, I'm sure. But Turmeric. And there's a link below about DCA. It reduced all tumors, lung, liver, cancer, pancreas, breast cancer, brain cancers, by 70% by reduced the tumors in three weeks. Doesn't hurt another cell in your body. Lots of people uh, here have went out and bought that. It's hard to get. It's a natural mineral. You don't need prescriptions, no pharmaceuticals. There's no patent on this stuff. It's innocuous to your body. Harmless. Uh, rosemary, ginseng, basil, green tea can also help reduce the effects. Dope. What have I done? 311 follower figures, 4 million beckles a square meter in a major city. That's a Minnesota. Hang on. I can't remember. I gotta do that. I can't figure that one out. Oh, it's probably here. 131, 132, 134 CC, 136. CCM 137 CCM, 129 technetium, 131 technetium, 132, 140, 99, uh, 132, 134, 137, 3 million, 4 million beckles square meter, blah, blah, blah. Where's the freaking name of the city? Uh, whatever. Probably in this one here. Fukushima study, people inhale up to 85,000 Beckwell's radioactivity in just four hours. That's only iodine-131. So how many hot particles of plutonium and uranium from the three melted detonated reactors? Folks, let me bring up the page here. I kind of went wiggy-wiggy here. I'm not paying attention. 43 minutes. Better get my freaking ass in gear. I freak around too much. Hang on. I'll bring up the page where everybody's to. Say hi for a couple minutes. Get back on track. Go oats make you laugh. Hey, Aqua. Alex. Hi, buddy. I never get the live stream. Just comments. How come, Alex? That's terrible. Uh, Alex, when I get the comments. Hi, Alex. That'll help him feel better. Hi, Annabeck, Aqua, Reram, Mickey, Trey, Candace, Albert, Pam, Demock. Woo, DCA says Dave. Yeah, there's a link below, Dave. 
Yeah, Google DCA, everybody. Okay, let's keep going. Everything looks good. Everything looks good. I just wanted to make sure everything was streaming good because sometimes I get lost in what I'm doing here. Don't even realize it. So I left off and people inhale up to 85,000 backwards of radioactivity in just four hours in Japan. You know, you take all the refugees, they're the heroes. You think of all the, the people that created those models never told uh, their friends or families, they probably did. I never told the rest of the country. They're lower than zero. They're minus uh, one or something, whatever you want to call it. They're, uh, you know, they're, they're, they just want their paycheck. They never thought for a second they would have to make these decisions. And so they just do what they're told. Right? Look up the Milleram experiments. Where people will fucking murder you if someone else will take the responsibility. Or go look up police killing people on the side of the road. Uh, if somebody else could take the responsibility and they think they're under the authority of the law, they'll destroy you. Even your next door neighbors will do it to you. Because the government, you know, that's supposed to work for you works only against you. Right? They put up people like Ken Buesler on, on PBS. Right? The Gordon and Betty Moore Foundation also supports PBS and Ken Buesler. No conflict of interest here. And the Woods Hole Foundation at 850 scientists can't come up with a nuclear scientist. They got to roll out Ken. They had to drag Ken away from whatever he was fucking doing and put him out there and get him doing the lectures on the speaking circuit, out there doing all the interviews up on BBC recently, up on Yahoo recently, up on National Geographic recently, Deep Sea News fuckers. I uh, had him up there driving everybody over to his site, give him money, buy his $550 kits. Useless, right? Just sucking the money out of people that are worried and really want to know. They need an outlet. And so Ken gets all the money from that. Doesn't do anything. And uh, he puts a couple of numbers up on his webpage, which are patently false, right? If you go and look up every interview, he talks about potassium 40. That's not a real human would do something like that. Right, Kenan is probably an alien from another planet. No human would do what he's doing. Nobody with normal emotions, right, would do something like that. You have to be some pretty fucking stupid or pretty freaking evil. And he's got the education. Uh, he's got an unimaginable education. Unbelievable. And what does he do with it? The university just lets him go out there. They don't keep an eye on him. They let him run rogue and tell all these lies. That's why you can't, he's the very reason you can't trust the scientists. He's the epitome of why you can't trust a university. I'm sure there's good people there, but I'm just saying because of people like that, Jay Cullen and all the other people that I blogged on my site recently, I took down a lot of these fuckers, these crazy critters. Let me go back over to that stuff anyway before I get lost. 85,000 Beckwolds. They're the heralds, okay? They've done what they were supposed to do, and the government is the zeros. The government didn't even try. A thousand beck was a kilogram to be incinerated, one billion pounds of debris in the exclusion zone. Minanachi. That's uh, April 8, 2012. All of Japan is contaminated. The government is covering up the enormous exposures, like I showed you tonight. The epidemic is just beginning, like we showed you a couple of nights ago. With the puppy, go watch that video, that short 14 minute expo on mass murdering puppies with plutonium 238 and 239. That's mass over four decades murdering puppies. Like they don't know how bad this is. If there's nothing to worry about with this stuff, why did they murder puppies at an astronomical rate? And it's not just that one institution, okay? It's not just Dr. Raymond Gilmetti, the mass serial killer of beagle puppies and beagle dogs. But there's so many other institutions out there, professionals that you'll see in the media, are running these same kinds of uh, mass slaughter factories. Inhumane. They give them cancer and watch the effects of the cancer. They don't treat them because they want to see what the effects are like. 
And didn't he do experiments later on where they were trading them with, for certain corporations? Right? So corporations played a lot. The pharmaceutical industry plays a huge part in the torture of uh, and the, the funding of these places. I never went down that road yet. Um, but Japan is destroyed. It's dying. Japan is dying. Because of all the fucking zeros down there. The cowards that have sold out their country to hold on to a paycheck for another little while. Why they watch their own children dying. Why they poison their own loved ones. Their own friends, their own families. Just so they can have a fucking check rather than do the moral and ethical thing and deal with it. Think about Russia in the late 50s evacuated 7,500 communities and 9,000 square miles. If Japan was to do that, and inside of that 9,000 square miles, keep the government employees, and they can store all the nuclear waste away, why they waste away. That would be fitting, see? They're the fucking zeros. You should take all, you should be grabbing all the government employees and dragging them into Fukushima and making them work instead of the homeless and victimizing them. Right? That's what you should be doing. And the fucking Americans that are down there too at the same time. That's why that country is destroyed in the first place. That's why they got all that nuclear, military, industrial complexes, directed energy, weapon, isotope factory known as a nuclear power plant there in the first place. All nuclear power plants are zeros. They're, they, at some point, they're all going to go anyway, one way or another. You can't decontaminate them. You can't decontaminate a nuclear power plant. You can't decontaminate the communities around it. Every day that fucker is running, it's releasing radioactive material into your environment. Every time it rains, wherever there's a nuclear power plant, you have radioactive fallout. Serious radioactive fallout coming down. That's when they like to release it. Goes up, gets washed down into the ocean. They release it into the ocean, all of them. They throw it out there in barrels. They give their waste away to anybody that fucking wants it. They love giving it away to McAllister's bomb manufacturer in McAllister, Oklahoma. Because they make dirty bombs out of it. Bullets. Well, they're bombs. Dirty bombs. Right? Like Harry. Prince Harry. Was down in Iraq and Afghanistan firing dirty bombs. In the, in the Black Hawk helicopters. Right? Every bullet he's firing is a dirty bomb. They're dirty fucking bombs. The worst type. Unimaginable dirty bombs. Uh, you know, the whip. Carlsbad, New Mexico, everybody's contaminated. Everybody. And including that communities. They're all fucking contaminated. You've seen all the smoke coming out of your Mama Knox's video that I talk about so much. If I go back to my couple of videos back, you see like a two-minute video. There's a link there for sure and the next two after it. I had links under it too, if I remember correctly. And... Think about the filters at Carlsbad. Why did they let all that smoke out? They couldn't go back down there. How did they fix the filters? How did they change the filters? If you can't get down there, how the fuck did they get in there and check the filters? They didn't. Those filters were clogged up fucking on the 6th and the 7th. Right? Do you get what happened here? Right? They say the filters are removing 99.97. Fuck you, you lying piece of shit. We got the video of the fire there. We got the video of all the smoke coming out of there. And since when did a truck fire so friggin' dangerous you can't go back? Never. Right? They know there was a collapse in there. What? You got no cameras in there? You spend four billion bucks? You got neither camera? You got four billion dollars on that shithole and you got no fucking audio down there? You got no... What? You gotta be kidding me if you fall for all that shit. They got no detection down there that's working. I don't remember them saying, oh, we lost all fucking power down there now. Never heard those words. I never heard the words, well, everything looks good on the camera. Here's the footage. You know why? Because they got a cover story. And that's why the PR campaign like KRQE came out and attacked me because I fucked them over anyway. But because that's their job to put out the Ken Buslers, the Jay Collins, the Dr. Death. You know, Dr. Raymond Gilmetti, the puppy mass murderer and freak, and his crew. 
his monsters, his personal monsters. You know, that's why he didn't want that reporter inside when he was doing that interview, because uh, the screaming of the puppies would have been too much, right? Hang on. Making some extra noises here tonight. 54 minutes. Let me pump out a couple more. So he's snoring now. Iodine 133 likely played a major contributor to thyroid doses after Fukushima. Not just thyroid, see? Where you ingest it, it's in your body. At the same time as you ingested that, you ingested everything else. That's how this works. But they only look for iodine. Uh, scientists, the slower you spread radiation dose, the more effective it produces cancer and inherited defects. We're seeing all kinds of defects. Um, we're seeing all kinds of def defects. Ah, oh, shit, I didn't get it. So I'm this computer over here, probably. There's another uh, bunch of uh, deformed babies uh, came out there like an hour ago before I got online with this. I can't remember, but I'll include it tomorrow night. Another city with all kinds of birth defects. It's, they're putting waste there. And they got a mountain up behind the community, like just a sand dune or whatever. And they treat it at the factory and they bring it up top of a hill and then they dig a hole and bury it there with heavy equipment. So what the fuck happens when the rain comes down or it's just barrels? Right? Oh, you know, it gives us some jobs in the morgue, in the hospital, in the cancer rooms. You demented creatures. Okay, let me cover, say, three or four more, and then I'll come in and say goodnight to everybody. So slower you spread radiation doses, and those models, they weren't exactly slow, but they spread it everywhere, didn't they? They blanketed the entire northern hemisphere, the southern hemisphere. There's not a spot on Earth that didn't get its dose of Fukushima. And those doses probably won't go away for several hundred thousand years. Yeah, the cesium will disappear. But not all that other stuff, not all those buckyballs. They're not even salutable in water. It's freaking fucked up shit. Why Fukushima's worse than Chernobyl? 72,000 times worse than Hiroshima. 72,000 times worse than Hiroshima. Wrap your mind around that one. 72,000. There shouldn't be a single isotope escaping from any nuclear power plant according to the licensing agreement with the NRCs, right? But we've seen uh, the head of the NRC, Alison McFarlane, get up in the Senate hearing and perjure herself by saying there was no models. Even though their own government has oodles of models, Japan had 5,500 or 5,200 models in the first two months. But I mean, you had the Belgium Institute, you had Norway Institutes, you had Switzerland's Institute, you had France's Institutes putting out models of the aerosol dispersals based upon the releases just from reactor number one. Right, and here's McFarlane, Alison McFarlane, the head of the NRC, saying there was none of that existed, that there was no way it reached America and that America had nothing to worry about. Therefore, we need 34, uh, 1,900 more employees, right? Since Fukushima, they grew by 1,900 employees because there's nothing to fucking worry about, right? Carl's bad. New Mexico is okay because there's the filters picked it all up. The filters didn't pick up fuck all because they came on when all that smoke come out of that hole like Mama Knox's unbelievably cool video shows us. Right? That hole filled up with smoke that we thought was from a truck fire. It turns out to be from drums getting smashed open or a chain reaction in the drums. Don't think for a second they went a half a mile under the ground at Carlsbad, New Mexico, because it was just mediocre radioactive material. They went a half a mile fucking down there because it was the most toxic stuff. They had to get rid of it. They got nothing to do with it. And they were they put it down in these fucking holes. And even yeah, they took shit to make it look good on paper and everything else. But do you think for one second? Do you think for one second? That they're getting four billion fucking dollars, five billion dollars, and all this other friggin' shit because they're only putting insignificant shit in the ground? Please, give you a hit of shake. 
I come and say good night to everybody. Friggin' arm shot. What else is no? One more hairline for it comes over to you. Let me see if we find one more doozy. <coughs> okay, that's right. The headline today, March 7, 2014. I had to check, make sure it was in the right date. Mysterious black substances. I've seen a few people put that in the comment section below. Uh, fuel core material from Fukushima plant detected. Plutonium, uranium, 236. Curium discharge. Now, curium, Dr. Mengele, I mean, uh, Raymond Gilmetti, right, that i done that puppy video about. He was using curium isotopes on dogs. Let's look up his study if you want to find it. It's in that video. March the 6th, 2014, um, 236 uranium. Gee, you don't suppose there's some 234 there, 235. And probably some plutonium 238, 239, 240, 241. Okay, folks, here we go. I'll say goodnight to everybody. I'm just fucking around now. 59 minutes. We're up to our hour. And it was a pretty good stream. Zoe Barkin had a hard time getting on again. At least I don't look really fat in this video like I did last night. Not that I care. There we go. Okay. Good night, Missing Sky. If you're watching this later, folks, you'll find links to Missing Sky. Kate. And Kate got a link on her channel. She's got a form up there. I'm over there. I'll try to figure it out and use it for sure. But like I say, I'll just participate as a, um, like anybody else. And, you know, people want to start up forums. you got to realize it's a good spot to, to come after me and attack me, too. And so wherever there's a forum, there's going to be the trolls, is what I'm trying to say to you. And uh, I think they picked the wrong spot. <laughs> because the Fukushima hounds are not slack, right? They're not going to put up with shit. And so when the trolls comes over there, they're going to get immortalized. You guys are going to have to do all your own fighting. We'll see how much... Uh, how that, so far from what I've seen last night, anyway, you guys destroyed them. Okay, good night, Mama Knox. Good night, Kevin. Patrick, wannabe. Make is looking. Irene Arell. 100 tunes, you bet. Demok. Demok. 99999. Nine, 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 nine. Aqua. Lori. Kate. Missing Sky. Sergeant York, Cats Alive, got spammed here, I'll unspam you while I'm here. I can, I'll unspam everybody else after that got spammed. Uh, David, John, illusion is over. I say hi to most people anyway. Jill, original Punisher. I think you got spammed like 40 times last night, but, but I went in. I was able to finally, uh, YouTube is doing an update tonight again. They've done a lot of updates now on the live stream. So who knows what's going on there. Okay, folks, I'll come down, see if there's anybody else jumped in. And uh, we got Chris J. Burden. Illusion is over. Like I say, Kate got a form running over there after for people if they want to use it. It's a nice little form. I don't know how to use it, but you'll figure it out. It can't be too hard. I only had a few minutes there. James, Irinarell, Patrick. Uh, EF Spider, Michael Ham, Mamanox says, give Dana a thumbs up. I agree. We got to get this information there to recover Japan from one end to the other end of the night. Right? That's got to be a word to thumb up. I mean, that's definitive what I covered here tonight. Certainly nowhere near everything I got there, but like I said, I've been doing the documentary all day trying to organize it. Adam, Albert, Kevin, Paul, Westerfield, Jill Clarkson, Craig Hintel. John Towson, Physic Stupid, Conjure, Oli Conjure, K O D J U R, probably pronounced that foot wrong. Try, Wanna Be Live 24. I won't be able to join you after, Kate, no. Still, it takes me half an hour to wind down after this. I've been at it for two hours before I got online, and I'm on for an hour. I've been doing a documentary all friggin' day since I woke up, right? And it's just impossible for me to do stuff like that. I have to learn how to use it before I'm going to come over and participate in it. 
because I'll just get frustrated. Right, right now I don't know how to use it properly or quickly or efficiently. I don't know what to look for. I don't know who to, how to find my way around. That's going to take me a week or two. But once again, you got to realize I don't stop and i got no time for anything else. But like I say, I'll use the site. I'll post there because you guys went through the work. You're the Fukushima hounds are heading over there. It's a good spot. It's a start, right? Eventually, you know, when I get into the studio, we'll have... Uh, but all of these forms are important, right? The, the Fukushima hounds are perusing them and putting their information there. Right? But like every form, we're going to have issues where the trolls or people fight and uh, that's stuff that I think we should be smart enough to look past and just stick to it. This is what the idea of these forms are. And once again, I can't possibly keep up with it all. Tommy, Tommy does this, gets through all the emails, gets through all the comments, right? Uh, I don't have enough time in each day. I don't have enough. I can't possibly do the things I want to do all day in any day. And I just, like I said, I'll use the site. Uh, once I get used to it, I'll start posting, the, hey, I'm going live and stuff like that for sure. Because I know all you guys. But, but you know, eventually we'll have a whole lot of people coming at us with these forms. <laughs> it's going to be pretty rough. So I can't participate the way I want to because I just don't have enough time. Possum, I'm a lot longer than I am. I just apologize because I can't, I know, see all the work you put, people put into stuff. And I just, I can catch it, but I can't participate the way I, I normally would because this is encompassing what I have to do. Just to make it through each one of these shows, is it's really difficult for me. Uh, and it doesn't get easier. Pam, Aqua, Zakamoto Chef, Mama Knox again. Thanks, thanks folks. I'm gone. Annabeck, Reran, Paul Westerfield. Hokey Pokey, Icy Dopey, Isotope, Pokey Pokey. Jesus. <laughs> Broken Ass Islander, Kathleen. Yeah. But I encourage everybody to go over to her site, folks. Jill Clarkson, thank you. Everybody, once again, realize uh, all I am is a result of you. I read all your comments after. Yeah, I'll be there when I'm ready. You bet, Kate. I'm doing the best I can. And I don't like to see anybody put all their work into it and not get something out of it. That's why I went over and signed up tonight to make sure you knew that I am trying. Michael, and I'll do the same thing for everybody else. I'll try my best when you send me messages. I'll do better than that. I'll read them. <laughs> if it's important, I will respond. But I might not get to them for days because I got 13,000 subscribers. You would not. You can't. I, Grandma, you can't imagine. You can't even imagine. You can't imagine now <laughs> what it takes to be me. <laughs> I'm not bragging. I'm just saying. I should brag. You should see us. I'm fucking good. That's what I is. I'm good, bitch. I fucking, I can talk to 5,000 people. Every day I don't sleep. I don't fucking pee. I just drink tea. It's potassium 40. I off gas it. <laughs> I don't know where the fuck I went that time. Hour and five minutes. <laughs> and I was trying to be out the gate by one uh, hour blah. It happens more often than not. So what I was going to say uh, just before I leave here tonight was that some of these, the next couple of nights I'm going to have the guitar here and I'll play guitar at the end of it so I can do my recordings because I'm going to the Adobe and it'll be a bit better so I can use for the documentary. So <laughs> you'll probably hear some pretty weird shit here in the next couple of nights anyway. And that's all fun though, right? It'll be an extra five or ten minutes of me trying to get uh, intros, one minute, two minute musical pieces that'll be and so I can extract it that way. Don't even ask, because I really think it's just a better way to go. When I'm listening to the new audio, it seems like that's the better option. We'll catch you folks tomorrow night. If everything goes tight, and it probably will. Hopefully. <laughs>